This is going to be about food, family, and friends. In college, I mistakenly majored in home economics, but I very quickly found out that I did not want to cook for 500 people in a hospital or 1,000 people in a student cafeteria. So after college, I went to Europe for a year, and I found some excellent bread and very good soups in Germany, but it was in Italy that I really found how delightful food can be. I hitchhiked there with a friend, and one day a very pleasant gentleman picked us up and took us to a lovely seaside restaurant for lunch. So I had a lovely meal of fish and salad and afterwards apples and gorgonzola. That was uh, a fine experience which told me how really lovely food could be. After I married Chandra and I usually cooked um, steaks or chops or fried chicken, you know, standard American food. Then someone gave me an Indian cookbook, but that was not helpful because I didn't know how the recipes should taste. So I had no success with Indian food until the summer of 1961 when we went to India and stayed at his mother's house for three months. And she very nicely invited me into the kitchen showed me all kinds of things, let me do small tasks, and I took notes like crazy. And those notes um, became really important some years later, particularly for my daughter. But we came back to the U.S. in 1961 fall, and I settled into family life. We eventually had three children, and I uh, made dinner every night, of course. Our children learned to eat everything and to like almost everything and they always cleaned their plates because if they did then dessert was waiting at the end. So when we went as a family to India in 1974 they ate everything and enjoyed everything and that was important because if they had refused food at Chandran's relatives it would have been very rude but they were excellent guests. In all of the places that we usually lived, we never had a kitchen table where you sit down and eat a breakfast. We only had dining room. And so it was a little bit of a ceremony. I enjoyed uh, putting on a tablecloth, setting the table, bringing the dishes that I had cooked for dinner, and then sitting down and looking around the table at faces that I loved. So I, I liked that experience of food and family together. The big feast was at Thanksgiving when we traveled and got together with three other families whom we had met as graduate students in Seattle. That was a, a big gathering of friends and food. The children grew up, set up their own households where we were very happy to visit because they all cook well. The youngest one, uh, Maya, became especially interested in food, and she really pursued her interest in Indian food. And she wrote two cookbooks. And the first one won the Julia Child Prize for the best first-time cookbook author. We retired in 1992 and moved here. And before we got settled into our house, uh, Andy and Padma said, well, why don't you come and eat with us? And somehow that morphed into a daily event. So there we were, six people at the table. And again, there I was, sitting at a family table, looking at the faces of people I love.